This is a sample from our exam 70-741 training on ITDBDs.com for complete training including practice tests, chapter tests, movie tests, flashcards, offline access, mobile apps. Please go to ITDBDs.com. The Active Directory database, uh, the file is actually ntds.dit. This consists of partitions, so it's kind of separated within that file, and it has five partitions by default. The scheme partition, configuration partition, domain partition, and then there's two other partitions that are related to DNS specifically. And we can use the get dash DNS server directory partition commandlet to see those. And it's domain DNS zones, itdvscorp.com, and forest DNS zone, itdvscorp.com. So depending on where your zone lives, that affects what domain controllers it replicates to. If it's in the domain DNS zones, uh, partition, then it'll replicate to all domain controllers in the domain. If it's forest DNS zones, then it'll replicate to all domain controllers in the forest. And we can change that simply by going to the properties of our zone and you can see replication. We just click on change and right now it's to all domain controllers in the forest. If I want to change it to all domain controllers just in the domain, I can select that, click OK, and click OK then it'll go ahead and change what Active Directory partition it actually lives in. And we can see that with the get dash DNS server zone commandlet here. Directory partition name, now it's in the domain DNS zones. If we want to change the replication scope to forest, we could use the set dash DNS server primary zone commandlet, specify the name of our zone in the replication scope forest. And now let's check it out again. And we can see the directory partition name is now forest DNS zones. It should be noted that we can also use DNS CMD. We can almost use DNS CMD for almost anything here when we go to add a zone. Uh, if we want to specify its uh, domain service primary, so it's Active Directory integrated, here we sp specify slash DP. That's the directory partition. And I'm just going to have it error out a little bit here. And we can see we can specify it slash domain, slash force, or slash legacy. Legacy is that uh, Windows 2000 compatible. So replication scope is really all about the Active Directory partition that the zone lives in.